As millions prepare to hit the roads over the next few days, a viral video from Eastern Virginia Medical School has parents thinking twice about how they buckle their kids in the back seat. Now, even though the law says that they should be in a booster seat until the age of eight, doctors say that is not necessarily true. Ten of your side, Stephanie Harris is here with video that may cause some struggles between parents and kids. Absolutely, because you know kids don't want to be in their car seats, but the video you're going to see is going to show you why they need to be, and some of them to the age of 10, maybe even 12 years Ooh. old. That's because doctors say car seat use should be based on height and your bone growth, not your age. Here's part of the video produced right here in Hampton Roads that's opening eyes across the country. Oh, hey, Mom, snacks. Oh, they're in the back, bud. Look. I've got it covered. <laughs> I got some good ones. Mom, tell me again, uh, where was he at in the car? He was in the back. Was he in a booster seat? No, I mean, he's nine. He's almost See, 10 years old. Uh, there's a possibility he had some damage to his major organs, okay? Doctors say when adult seatbelts don't fit kids correctly, they can actually do more damage to internal organs and the spinal column. Experts say children do not fit into an adult seat until they're at least four foot nine inches tall. They recommend you do a seatbelt fit test in each vehicle since all vehicles are different. Here's how. Well, what we're looking at is the seatbelt fit test, making sure before a child goes into the seatbelt system that the child can sit all the way back, sitting upright, with their knees bending at the front edge of the seat, their feet resting flat on the floor, allowing the shoulder belt to properly come across the shoulder, across the chest, so it's not over on the neck. And something Anita was just asking is one of the most common questions people ask after seeing this video whether small adults need a booster seat. Well, I asked Dr. Kelly England well that today. She's at EVMS and she said no because it isn't just about height. That's a very important part. But children's bodies are more vulnerable. After we hit puberty, our bones are stronger up here and they can take that impact. To see the entire video and to get more information, go to wavy.com. Stephanie Harris, 10 on your side.